Hello and welcome to Library Drawing Party. Today we're going to be drawing this beautiful cat. First we're going to start working on the eyes. I would recommend starting with a number two pencil so that you can make adjustments as you go along. First we're going to be making a half circle for the top of the eye. A little bit, it almost looks like an eyelash. And then a half circle on the bottom. And then we're going to draw the pupil. And that's a big circle in the middle. And it, it tapers off the bottom here. And then let's draw highlight and highlight next to the highlight. Now let's start coloring this in to see how it looks. Now at this point you should take a step back. I'm pretty happy with my eye, so I'm going to take my sandy color and draw in the color next to the pupil. And you can use some yellow to really bring out the brightness of the eye. And then I'm going to add in a bit of shadow on the ends. And then there's, it's almost like eyelashes. But it's just the fur has a little bit of shadow. So I'm going to put that on the left hand side of the eye. And then there's a little bit underneath and not as much. And a little bit on the right hand side. Let's take a step back. Now I'm going to take a dark black marker and I'm gonna draw over my pencil marks starting on the right hand side. So I made a half circle in the pupil and then I'm gonna work my way towards highlight. I'm using a fine tip black marker so I'm drawing smaller lines as I get closer. That way I can still keep some of that gray color. And then for the half circle, it's actually a bunch of straight lines. And there's like a straight line on top, and then a straight line on either side and going diagonally. So I'm going to create that. Take a step back. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that eye, so I'm going to work on the next eye. So you want about an eye length between the eyes for the nose. So I'm just going to make a marking so I know about how far away I want it to be. And then we're going to have half circle. And this is going to be a little bit raised up so the eyes should be pretty much aligned but the second eye is going to be just slightly higher I think this might even be a bit too much of a height increase so I'm going to bring it down a bit and then you only see half of the pupil and it tapers off in the bottom again. 
So the corner where the eye meets the nose is where the bottom is going to meet up. And then there's another highlight. And you want to make sure both of the highlights are going to be looking in the same direction. You don't want your your cat to be cross-eyed. It's good to do this in number two pencil because this is the trickiest part of the whole drawing. Because we want to capture the cat's emotions and what he's thinking about, where he's looking. Okay, once you're happy with your eye outline, you can lock it in with the fine tip black marker and be careful to make sure that you're still leaving that highlight and some of the gray for the inner highlight. And then let's take our sandy color to draw color next to the pupil. And we'll do the yellow to bring out that brightness. Once you have the eyes drawn, next we'll work on the mouth. And the nose. So for the nose I'm going to be using a light pink and it's probably about another eye length away from this the left hand side eye. And we're going to be drawing almost a heart shape or a triangle. And it's a relatively small nose. This should be about the same as the highlight in the eyes and then I'm going to be taking a red for some shadow this is going on the bottom of the heart and there's a small line that comes inside and then let's move on to the mouth so the mouth comes straight off of the nose. I'm using my light pink again. So you draw two half circles down from the heart nose. And then you can color in where the two half circles meet for the mouth. And take a step back and if you're happy with your nose placement we can start to work on the fur now the cat has like an orange kind of fur so what I'm doing is I'm using a light brown that has orange tones in it you can use or a mixture of orange and brown if you don't have a pencil that has orange tones in the brown or you can change the color completely maybe you want a blonde cat a black cat darker brown cat you can change the fur color to whatever you prefer uh, but for this particular cat I'm going to be using the light brown so you can see I'm leaving some white patches because this cat has some white fur and that's mainly around the nose. So I'm starting to draw an outline that comes up from the eyes and then it comes up to the ears. And I drew these eyes a little bit higher up on my sketch pad so we're gonna end up shifting the drawing 
a little bit higher, but I'm happy with that. So we have an ear, that's a straight diagonal line, and then a half circle, and then there's some fur coming out of the ear. And when you're coloring it in, you just want to make sure that the direction of the lines is the way that you want the fur to go. So the fur is mostly, think about like as if you were petting a cat, that the fur would be going behind the ears now way towards the body so I'm going to be doing the lines that way and I also want the lines to be relatively short because this cat has short hair or fur. Now this cat has some markings that come down on the side so I'm going to be drawing those first. This will help give me an idea of where I want the ear to go. So the ear should be around here. You can also look at it as kind of coming off of the edge of the eye. And this ear is proportionally probably about the size of two eyes. And then let's draw in some fur. And it's okay for some of the white paper to show through because it'll just mix in with the white fur of the cat. It also helps show your strokes, which will give us some texture. some brown inside the ear so I'm just gonna hint at that but there's also going to be a lot of light pink so let's do that now and this you want to be pretty smooth because this is going to be the inside of the ear now let's take a step back this ear in the back is looking a little large, so I'm gonna trim it down a bit with my eraser. It's okay if not everything gets erased because we're going to be painting a similar color in the background, so we can just paint right over that. We're doing a mostly monochromatic colors for this drawing and I'm losing some of my texture here so I'm going to erase it a bit so I can put in some short hairs. Okay now let's work on the nose. So this nose connects to the eye with the light brown. You want some parts to be darker than others. And let's do the side. And then let's finish out the circles for mouth with our light brown. And there's a circle underneath. And the cat almost has a bit of a beard. I'm going to add in some brown fur and some shading around the mouth. Not too much. And 
Let's add in the whiskers. And there's going to be rows. And some are going to be bigger than others. It gets bigger as it moves away from nose. I'm just going to highlight the whiskers with my number two pencil because they're actually white but if we do this then it gives it some shadow. Now let's finish doing the body. We want there to be some texture along the side, so I'm going to be adding in some wrinkles. This cat is a bit more of a close up and our sample drawing, so the body's going to be a little bit bigger. We just want to keep our proportions right. Now this is going to be a pretty loose sketch. It's just to get an idea of where the body begins and where it ends. And then the cat is sitting in a basket. So we're also going to want to start to add in the basket. I'm going to use that same light brown color. There's a bunch of half circles that are pretty flat. They're almost just like curved diagonal lines. And they're much longer than our fur. You want long strokes here and then the bottom is almost like an S shape. And since this is a woven basket, there's going to be a lot of texture. You don't have to worry about getting the lines right the first time you can just keep drawing until you get them the way that you want them to look. My body was looking a little long so I'm going to try and edit that a bit. And you can go ahead and make these edits with your light brown because most of the drawing is going to be in light brown anyway. So we'll just color over any of our former lines. You might want to add in some shadow too. This will help define how long you want it to be. Add in more fur. More shading underneath the Take our dark brown and add in some more shading. Some darker facial markings by the eyes. And some by the ears. Helps give some definition to the fur. And let's put a little bit by the nose. And 
and some in the dots of the whiskers. And then some shadow in the neck and under the mouth. And some in the body. It's really important when you're working on the fur that the direction of your strokes is the way that you want the direction of the fur. Take our light brown and blend the fur in a bit more. We get some nice dark rich tones. I'm going to add a bit more in to the face. Make sure that the colors are coordinating. Dark brown. And make sure we have an arm. Just gonna add in a bit of shadow. Do that a little bit on this side. Okay, once we're happy with our cat, then let's go back to working on the basket. So I'm gonna move these lines up a bit. We're still using the half circles and the almost S shapes beneath this. It kind of looks like waves. And they curl around on the side and come up about halfway in the cat's body. You don't want the cat to be too tight in the basket. Make sure there's some room for the cat. And then let's add in our bottom. So we have lots of half circles now. There's going to be three rows of big half circles and then the two outer rows are going to be shorter to show that they're the edges and also that part of it is getting cut off from view. We want the top part to be a little bit longer than the bottom part because we want this to be having a diagonal line. Now let's take our sand color and go over the top of the basket. This will help differentiate the basket from the cat. But since we're using the same color that we used for the eyes, it'll help bring the color palette together and unite the drawing. I'm going to add in a bit of highlight. I don't want to add in highlight everywhere, but it's scattered throughout the bottom of the basket. And I'm going to take my dark brown and add in some shading. This is gonna go in those white spaces. And then we'll have the lines going down in between the rows. And then I'm just gonna 
Halidane on this. On the left hand side you want to be pretty light because the light source is mainly coming this way. And then as you go towards the right hand side you can increase the pressure of your pencil so that it's pretty dark but you don't want to lose the texture either so this is a fine balance between keeping the lines and adding some shading you can always go back over the lines once you add in that color you can add in some shading to the top of the basket but we definitely don't want to lose that sand color And add in some shadow between the basket and the cat. And let's take our brown that we used for the cat's fur and just blend some of this colors together. Once you have your cat drawn, then we're going to be adding our watercolor background. You want a fairly dry brush for this. I'm going to be using a thick brush and my rainbow watercolor set. So for the hardwood, it comes up to about the face of the cat. And I'm just going to pull the brown across horizontally. And you want your brush to be pretty dry so you can get the brush strokes in. This will help make it look like wood. And as your brush gets drier, you can layer in more pigment. This will help with that effect. You want to add in some knots to the wood. You can take your knuckle and just dab. You may need to wet your brush if you want to create those knots in the wood. This is just a subtle technique that'll help make your wood grain a little bit more interesting. Once you have your hardwood floors painted, then we can add in the background. And coming off of the cat's ears, some blinds that are brown. We can use a similar technique with the brown. I would blend this a bit more. We have a bit of a different texture than our wood grain. And you can draw or paint in some lines for the blinds. And then you can wet your brush some more and I'm going to use some orange. You want to leave some white for trim. I decided to go with an orange background to help bring out orange color of the cat. But you want this to be pretty light. So you want for this part when you're doing the walls, you want the brush to be pretty wet so you can get the color on the page but it's not overpowering the cat. And you can even use some more water to blend it 
and lighten the tones. And then finally, let's take our light brown and we'll just outline the edges here. Give the trim some definition. And there you have it. That's our cat. Thank you for joining us in this week's library drawing party. We have library drawing parties every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And keep being creative.